Man, when I was in high school, XCF4 was by far my favorite molecule. And here I am drawing it for you in public. I can't believe it. How do we draw the Lewis structure? Well, we, first we count the electrons that are in the valence shell. Xe is a noble gas and so brings eight valence electrons. Each fluorine brings seven because it's a halogen and that gives us a total of 36. I like to put my central atom in the center uh, and then put all of the outer atoms around it. That's my four Fs. Then I make single bonds to the central atom. That accounts for eight electrons, by the way. Then I fill the octets on my outer atoms. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. I have used up 32 of the valence electrons. Now I need 36 electrons total and all my fluorines are full, which means I need to dump the extra four electrons on the central atom. If you're wondering why the octet rule doesn't apply, the octet rule does not apply starting with about phosphorus and onward over the rest of the periodic table, so don't worry about it. All right, here xenon has an expanded octet. Each of the fluorines is single bonded as they like to be, and xenon has two lone pairs on it. If you're into Vesper notation, you would call this A, X, 4, E, 2 because you have a central atom with four atoms connected to it and two lone, pair, lone pairs of electrons or non-bonding pairs of electrons. This is the shape or corresponds to a shape called square planar, which is flat and square. I could arrange it with my markers here. All of the F's are at 90 degrees to each other. And I have a lone pair coming out at you from the page and a lone pair going into the page as well. It's kind of like octahedral, but you have two lone pairs. Let's see if I can arrange these in an octahedral way for you. Here's my square planar structure. Then I have one. No, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Well, maybe I'll cut that out of the video later, but that's it. The Lewis structure of XCF4 has two lone pairs in the central atom and it's a square planar molecule. By the way, it's non-polar because these are all pulling equally in all directions. Even though the bonds are polar, the molecule is not. I'm going to write that down for you. Non-polar. Yeah, best of luck to you.